Hey guys, it's Anne. Welcome to my home worm farming channel. Today we're going to look in on my worm factory. And what we're going to do is we're going to go through this. I don't think it's going to be ready to harvest, but we are going to start a new tray today. So here is my top part here that I usually do for a pre-harvest. And I can still see quite a bit of bedding here. So it is definitely not ready to harvest, but you can tell how beautiful the castings are. But the worms are just simply not done. That's just, just the reality of it. It is 78.2 degrees Fahrenheit in the basement at 49% humidity. So things are on the downward spiral. It's still pretty warm here where I live, but the nighttime temperatures are getting pretty close to freezing. Uh, today is the day that I'm also going to be planting garlic. I have about a week or two before my first frost, so that's ideal for me to get my hard neck garlic in the ground with my worm castings. All right, on to the next layer. Oops, wait a minute. Check it out. There is a cocoon, like a brand new lemon yellow cocoon. I'm not sure if you can see that real well. It's pretty tiny. Uh, on down to the next layer down. Now this layer is actually the layer that we fed last time. And it is looking... It looks less done than the one on top, but it is still very much nowhere near done. And it does still smell like wet cardboard, for lack of a better descriptor. It's not to the uh, smells like the forest floor kind of a thing. I don't really see any more or less worms on this level than I did on the pre-harvest level. So I think the worms are doing what the worms do and they kind of go up and down depending upon whatever their mission is for the day. So we are going to continue to feed this layer because that top layer is nowhere near done. But we'll come back to that in a minute. Here is a layer that has never had anything other than these avocado pit. Oop. Okay, well, it's been three months since we put those avocado pits in here, and we were wondering how long it was going to take. Looks like this one's actually been hollowed out already. That's pretty amazing. And this one is gooey. Look, got a little worm next to it. So these were just regular Haas avocados. They weren't the big ones that I get from Florida sometimes. And you can see in there where they've been hollowing it out. I don't have as many bin buddies in this bin as I do like in blue or in the European night crawlers. So I think most of this work is being done by the worms and maybe some springtails. I don't have a lot of isopods in here. All right, let's look at the next layer down. Okay, so this is the layer where we have our experimental bedding going on down here. And I'm going to, hopefully I can hold this still good enough. You can see where this has been worked through by the worms. And these are little worm poo pellets. But they're still cardboard uh, color because they really haven't been, you know, they haven't had anything other than cardboard yet. So I'm going to flip this over just to kind of get it homogenized, make sure there's air in there. But there's definitely worms down here working on this. So it has been my experience that even though the cardboard is not shredded, the worms are absolutely able to get into it. Okay, now let's start that brand new layer. So I am going to start this with just wet shredded cardboard. Kind of fill this up a little bit here. Make sure there's enough volume for the worms to work down over time. There we go, that's pretty good. I need to go find a set of those risers for the bottom here. For some reason, I can only find three, which in my mind is better than none, right? Right. Okay, reassemble with this one here, and I'm just going to keep stealing all the risers from the level above. Maybe if I added some grit to this, it would help them out. 
I'm all about trying to figure out what works, you know? Not so much about hard, fast rules. Let's see if that helps them out next time. Maybe if we'll see a little bit more progress on this layer here. Here is our experimental avocado shells here. And here we are back to our feeding layer. Now what we have here is some pureed eggshell, cabbage, tomatoes, just basically everything that went into the blender. Cabbage brought to you by my next door neighbors. Yeah, the uh, squirrels or something got my cabbages, my red cabbage this year. I don't know what they got, but I know they had to buy these. Okay, so I'm just going to add a little bit more of that to the top. Now to the pre-harvest tray. Now classically, in my pre-harvest tray, what I do is I add a little bit of worm chow to make sure that this stuff all stays really tasty for them so that they keep working and don't leave it be. Okay, this is just alfalfa meal. Um, I buy it just as a powder and I know people use it for food for animals and they also use it for um, obviously worm food, but for fertilizer for in the garden because it's a good source of nitrogen, etc. And then I'm going to go ahead and just add another bit of grit there. I have got more eggshell than I know what to do with, so more is not going to hurt for sure. All right, well, if you like the Red Wigglers in this tower system, go ahead and give it a muddy thumbs up. If you're not a member of my worm family, click that subscribe button. And if you want to know what I'm doing when I'm doing it, ring that bell icon. All right, guys, thanks for hanging out with me and my worms. And everybody, have a good day. Oh, yeah, I forgot. Watch this playlist over here if you haven't seen it. And if you have, YouTube thinks you're going to like this one over here. The mouse apocalypse is not over. They're eating the plastic. Hopefully they're not eating the worms. They're eating the plastic. They're eating the worms. Oh my god.